Well, Joe, second one all draw with Troy this season. Same scorers, in fact, but quite a different game from the one we had at Plain Moor, I thought. Yeah, um, my first thought is if you don't take your chances in the game, then, you, then you're not going to you're not going to win. Um, Freddie's had several good chances. Uh, Ryan Brunt's had a couple when he's gone on. Manny's had a 1v1 in the first half of the keeper, which should score. Um, so I'm talking about five chances, five really good chances there. So um, now after such a good start to the game on the front foot and obviously with the penalty and strikes, having the confidence to go and score after missing one last week, um, it felt really good. Good buzz around the place. Lads looked, looked full of, um, full of endeavour. But um, I just felt as the game went on, we, we lacked, um, lacked drive, lacked high energy levels. Um, and we never really controlled the game like we do normally. Um, I never felt like they were really hurting us at any point. Um, but of course, as long as the game goes on at 1 0, you always in fear that they may get an opportunity, they may score from it. And it's a mistake from us. Joe gets done on the far side, and Ryan comes out and should maybe stay at home and ask him to get beat on such a tight angle. Um, and then he's made the decision, which is fine, and he smothered it rather than it stuck to him and it's bounced in. And it's a good finish from. Um, Tyler Harvey. So, yeah, disappointing, disappointing. Um, I don't think we were at our best today, if I'm all, if I'm going to be honest. And we're not going to be every week, um, but we did more than enough to win the game and um, just weren't able to take our chances. Right, tactical battles. I had to change shape a couple of times, move players in positions, mm -hmm. and you also had Andy Watkins came off at half time and Adam Mann as well during the second half. So even more attacking out there. Either. Yeah, we're just trying to try and get a foothold in the game and have longer spells of possession and try and challenge them really in different areas and. Um, they stuck the four out high up in the end against us, which was difficult, and we stayed with the shape. I kept um and ah whether to go to a flat four and go four three three, but I just felt as if the three centre halves were doing ever so well. I thought they were outstanding the three centre backs today, um, because they did have to deal with a, little, a lot of high balls, a lot of diagonals, and they dealt with that very well. I say very composed. Um, yeah, and it was the two systems cancelled each other out. I think for the majority of the game, it was a three four one two from both sides, and it was like for like. And sometimes when you have two systems like that, it really does. The two wing backs almost nullify each other. The three central midfielders do and the three centre backs were looking after the two strikers each end. So um it was it was a funny game if I'm being honest. It never I never felt like we gave the fans enough to really get behind us today. Um but 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 we haven't lost the game. We've added to our total it's another point. It's two games unbeaten here. That's five wins and a draw and um and we have to look forward to the next one. Again, shows the competitive nature of the division. I don't think any side in the top half won this afternoon and Troy fighting for their lives and another point on the road for them. So every game, as you've said before, is very difficult, no matter who you're facing. Yeah, credit, credit to Troy. They, what they are, they're, no disrespect to them, they're ever so hard-working team. They work ever so hard. And um, Lee's got them all organised with Meeks and um, they want to they wanna come to places like this, of course, and they want to play as best as they possibly can. Every player does. And I've said it before, people come to Twerk and they make it difficult for us. They want to put on a show and um, they've dug in and stay, stayed in the game, I guess. So that's what they'll be happy with. I said at half-time, they'll be happy to come in and stay in the game at 1-0. Because like I said, the longer it goes on, a mistake or a set piece, something could cost us. And that's what's happened today. One one moment has, has cost us a win. We haven't lost the game. Um, it's no big disaster. But um, like you've said there, we, what we can't do, and I'm just mindful of it around around the place, around the stadium, listening to people around me as the game's going on, saying that Western are beating Torquay. You can't control any of that. You really can. All you can do is control the controllables, is what people say, and um, and that's looking after our own house, making sure our performance levels stay to the to the max, or get around the top level, which we know we can play at. Make sure we're trying to create chances still. Make sure when they do drop, we're taking the majority of them and adding to our total. Um, as I said before, there's gonna be lots of twists, lots of turns in this division. Ten games left, and um, I've said to the boys there, you, you enjoy it. Enjoy enjoy these last ten games. It didn't feel like an enjoyable game for anyone today out there, if I'm being honest. I didn't really enjoy it. The boys work ever so hard. They give us everything they possibly can every time they go out on this football pitch. Um, and the sign of a good group is that they're in there and a bitterly disappointed. Really, really disappointed in that in that result. And we haven't lost. So um, we'll keep demanding off them. They'll demand off each other. And let's hope that um, we can add to our tally next week. We are veer away from today's game for, for a moment. We had Joe Reigns, who signed an extended contract yesterday, very important sort of acquisition. Do you think there'll be any news from any other players, perhaps, or are you waiting to see sort of how the season pans out? Um, no, I'm hoping so. I, th I think all, all the players have done terrific. And, um, yeah, I've sort of earmarked a couple. We started, started with Joe and uh, we've managed to get him done and over the line. I think it's important because he's a local lad as well and he's coming from a lower level. He's had to prove his worth. He's got a lot, a lot to improve on still. He, he's, um, he's still a developing young man, 
Um, he's his first season at this level as well, so he's not the finished article. He's done ever so well and he deserves his contract. But now it's time for him to work ever so hard and, and a little bit more hard, uh, uh, if you like, and and try and and try and improve on this really solid start that he's had at this level for Bath City Football Club. And that's why he's got his contract is for his contract to be able to sustain performance levels and get better through that period and try and get to a level where if he's hungry and he wants to push on, then that's great. But hopefully it'll be with Bath City and hopefully end of the season he's in a successful team. Like all the other boys, there's there's a few others that we'll have to start talking to as well. Um, and we want to, but um, that, we'll look after that in-house and then in due course you'll see the ones that we're trying to get tied up because they're all putting ourselves in a position where they, we want to keep them at the football club. And the Hemel Hempstead next week, who came in won 1-0 back in November. Our city squandered quite a lot of chances, so mm. chance to put that right. Wasn't dissimilar to this game, was it, really? It was quite a frustrating game, that one. And um, Yeah, we, it's always a good pitch at Hemel. We'll enjoy the pitch, we'll go there, we'll get training right again this week. Um, and, um, and, and there's no reason why we can't go in and get three points. Make sure we don't get beat, first and foremost, but um, try and add to the tally, as I said.